guys, we're Justin and I, someplace outdoors fishing. I finally got your name right the first time. <laughs> finally, after all this time. We're back out on Lake Travis, making another video for you guys and having a good time for ourselves. Yep. Let's get out on the lake today. It's mid-January. As you can see, it's a little cloudy, a little chilly. It's not like poor Troy. Yeah, they're yeah, in Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> Sorry, Troy. Come yeah. visit. <laughs> he hasn't fished in a few months. It's snowy. That's what he was saying. There's a fish, there's a fish, up from front of this dock. A little guad. Oh, look at this pretty one though. He was right up by these, uh, in front of this dock. Just slow rolling this little six cents whale. I have to say it slowly. <laughs> six cents whale. Whoop. Fish number one of the day. And I am doing the 1,000 fish in a year challenge and this is fish number 39, I think. <laughs> So I'm way behind already. I think I have to average like 2.8 fish a day. So do the math. Here you go, beautiful Guadalupe bass on Lake Travis. Boop. That feels good. Catch fish. Nope, sorry. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Did I just hit you? I promise you, well, I'm not gonna promise you. There's a fish, might be the same fish as before that bit in that same spot that's a decent fish that's on the yeah the cactus creek again <laughs> i got a bite in that exact same spot on the swim bait and look he just got this one he wanted it too he got both hooks in him all right so we were getting um really nothing on other baits although i had missed a bite in that exact same spot a moment ago on the swim bait, I went back in there with this Cactus Creek deep diving crankbait. And uh, this little one and a half pound largey boy, look at the fat head on him in relation to his body. I guess he's not fed up for the sp spawn coming up. He's not a bad little fish. Look at this guy though, he's pretty. That's number two for the day. Thank you for playing. You got a fish, you got a fish, you got something. Get in here. Oh, that's a better fish. <laughs> look at that. That's a better fish. Guys, he that's a bit, look at the mouth on that thing. Yeah. Look at the mouth, and he wanted that six cents. What's that color called? Uh, I think it's called like Black Magic or something like that's that. That's a great guys. color. So fish number three for me, I think, yeah, three and four for the boat. Not really putting together a, much of a pattern yet, although the last two were caught near shore over grass uh, on moving baits. So anyway, beautiful fish. This is number 41 for the year. Whee, that was a big splash. That's five fish for the boat. That's a nice squad, dude. There we go. Second one on this curve 55 here. All right, chill out, guy. That's a pretty squad. I love these squads. They on that so six cents. That's such an amazing color. I'll yeah. bet a lipless crankbait in that color would work well, too. I do have a lipless in this color, too. Nice. <laughs> a suspending one and uh, like a slow Look at seat. that beautiful squad. There's a fish. Uh, I don't think so. That's catfish. Is it really? I think so, yeah. Ha, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Multi-species bait right there. Yeah. That's an eater size catfish too. These fish are fighting that hard. No, they're not. Look they at that, guys. That thing. Uh, catfish for the day. You're lucky I'm not having fish tonight. Justin's hooked up again. Nice. Two in a row. Oh, why not? <laughs> it's got fins. It feels heavy. 
Oh, it is a stick fish. Boosh. Biggest bat, biggest catch of the day. I don't think we need the net. That's a fish. That was a terrible job of setting the hook too. <laughs> but it's definitely a fish. Where are you at, buddy? Oh yeah, nope. He's not very big, as long as he don't jump again. Oh, look, all these guys have big fat heads. Yeah. They're just so skinny. Like that would be a almost a two pound fish when he's fully fed. The only pattern, and I guess we can call it a pattern now, yeah is uh sloping banks instead of steep bank and uh grass and these fish are all been caught away from shore probably up to eight foot deep okay okay don't jump now i got you buddy i got you i got you thanks sir Kabloop. there's a fish that feels like a decent fish Nope, he's not that big. <laughs> he's a fighter, though. Look at this fool. Look at this guy. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Nice little fish there. Yeah. All right. This is on the Six Sense Whale. The Whaley. The ones I just got on Amazon yesterday or two days ago. Whatever day I texted you that picture because I was like, yay, they're here. <laughs> it's strange that you get so excited about something so small. Yeah. Anyway, I guess that could be called a pattern. Now that's the third or fourth fish on this doing the same thing. So thank you, Mr. Fish. Whoop. Scar sploosh. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. There's a fish. There's a fish. Let me catch up to you. Where are you? Not a big fish at all, but a fish. Hey, another guad. Hey, oh, my line broke. Don't take my lure away. I need that lure. I want it back. Oh, now you're stuck. Now you're stuck. Now you're stuck. Okay, well, that's strange. I know, I need that lure. <laughs> I hope my knot didn't break. Anyway, just a little guad, but he still counts. Boop. Thanks, sir. just trolling on our way out of the marina dropping Justin off just for fun because it's a no wake zone and I oh we do have a fish 12 guad. <laughs> nice fish. I think number 44 for the year. A little trolling guad on the uh, swim bait. Hey girl. Oh, hooked up again. On the crankbait this time. That's definitely a fish. Oh yeah. Got him. That one was in over 20 foot of water. That one's on the crankbait. There we go. Nice little largy. Just trolling along. Over 20 foot of water. Let's get him back in the water. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this adventure. We met up with Justin from Someplace Outdoors Fishing. Everything linked below. Um, it's a mid-winter day, mid to late January. Th the weather wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. It's in the 50s, a little bit of a wind, a little bit of a north wind, a little chilly. 
um, but we were able to catch a few fish. It was really hard to pinpoint a pattern, and honestly, the only thing we could call a pattern was fishing deep diving crankbaits or swim baits along grass edges on sloping banks was the best option versus the steep rocky banks like we do fish a lot. I was able to pick up two fish on the way out of the cove trolling in a no wake zone, so that's a bonus. So go ahead, drop a comment, like, subscribe, follow, hit the bell, you know all that stuff. Uh, much more coming in the uh, near future. Stay adventurous, tie lines, see you on the water.